We have team coverage for you tonight following all aspects of this latest surge. We start off with Hope Ford as she explains three optimistic and three pessimistic predictions from the experts. The world has more data and experience with COVID-19. So what do experts think will happen next? One, COVID-19 cases will rise and may peak in early 2022. Researchers from University of Washington School of Medicine predict 140 million cases throughout the country from January to March of 2022, peaking in mid-January. Dr. Anthony Fauci agrees with this prediction. That it likely will be more than a couple of weeks, probably by the end of January, I would think. Two, the idea of an endemic isn't out of the picture. Infectious disease cases need to be somewhat stable over time to to classify as an endemic. As Omicron cases rise rapidly, coupled with vaccines, the population could see a higher level of immunity. That would be a positive outcome, but you can never guarantee. Three, hospital resources might continue to be stretched thin. The same model showing cases peaking in January also showed the number of hospital beds being needed peaking in mid-February. Atlanta hospitals already experiencing a strain. It means that people who otherwise need the resources are unable to get them. Four vaccinations could reach 70% threshold by spring. Models show a steady increase continuing into the new year and by March, 70% of the population could be fully vaccinated. Five, there will be more variants. If the virus can mutate, it will. Experts with John Hopkins Medicine writing, the strength of new variants are unknown, but a new variant shouldn't be unexpected. Six, Omicron could lead to 50% less deaths than other variants. A recent study from the University of Texas at Austin shows one scenario resulting in 50% fewer deaths compared to 2021, but this was in highly vaccinated populations. Data from the CDC shows unvaccinated people are at a higher risk of dying. All of these, of course, remain subject to change, but it helps paint a picture of the upcoming third year of the pandemic.